Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look. Nah. Rest in 101, class is in session Pay attention to the teachings, that's from Andrew and Derek I mean these guys making the killer with no competition Dynamic duo better than the Hardy Boys and the Dudley Boys Everybody make some noise, mess with them, you get destroyed They cannot be beat, take a seat, watch them do they thing on the MIC Face defeat, they cannot be seen like JC Oh my goodness, it's in killing spree, yeah? Hey, this is Magic, part of the Fat Boys with Big Man J Wise. J Wise, and you're listening to Wrestling IQ 101. Hey, everyone, this is Andrew from Wrestling IQ 101. When I'm not hosting our podcast, I'm usually at collarandelbowbrand.com. That's right, Collar and Elbow is the only place that combines wrestling with street attire. And I know what you're thinking. I want to look fashionable too, and I also want to save 10%. So head over to collarandelbowbrand.com and use the promo code WIQ101. And look fashionable and save some money. And now, on with the show. Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrestling IQ 101. I'm Andrew, and you can listen to Wrestling IQ 101 on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Wrestling IQ 101. And today I'm joined with the Vice President of UWA Elite, Dave Swan, man. What's going on? Uh, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, man. You know, Dave, I can't wait. Friday in Linwood, New Jersey, uh... You know, in North Brunswick at the at the school, UWA Elite is going to invade, and it's going to be absolutely crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, this is going to be our uh, our third year partnering with um, with North Brunswick, um, and at Linwood Middle School, and it's always a great show. And uh, this Friday is going to be no exception. Yeah, absolutely. You know, can you tell people, you know, how to get tickets if they want to go to this show? I mean, right? They can just go online or come to the door, right? Oh uh, yeah, there's gonna be tickets available at the door. Um, we are, we are not selling tickets for this show through UWAElite.com. Mm-hmm. But if you go on UWAElite.com, there's information on how to purchase advanced tickets through Linwood Middle School and. All that information is up on the uh, UWALE.com right now. Yeah. But yeah, tickets are going to be available at the door also. Awesome, and it's definitely a can't-miss show this Friday. You know, Dave, last time we talked, I mean, we talked about Bull Metal Jacket, you know, and, and the, the competition the tag team division was heating up. They're going to face the stepdads now, you know, uh, Dad Generation X. Um, who do you have in that one? <laughs> um... You know the the stepdads had a had a huge win at saying the standards. Um, you know they they earned the number one contendership in a triple threat match, and um, you know they're uh, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with here. But you know I don't want to take anything away from the reigning champions, Bull Metal Jacket. Them and the Bro Team Pack was the the main event of setting the standard. They closed the show for the tag team championship in a. Uh, extremely extremely competitive match mm-hmm. and full metal jackets riding into this with a lot of momentum also sure absolutely they do you know talking about momentum another match robbie roller man he is just steaming through them all and he'll be facing nicholas k uh what a matchup that's gonna be yeah i mean these two these two wrestled at saying the standard and what was probably the most shocking match of the night robbie sure. roller picked up a, uh, a submission victory, you know, probably 30 seconds into the match. Mm-hmm. And um, then after the fact, Nicholas K really went to town attacking Rob. And, you know, so they're going to go one-on-one in a street fight in at Linwood Middle School on Friday. Yeah, that's going to be absolutely crazy. I mean, no championship advantage in that one because you can get hit with anything uh, – yeah, that's going to be a crazy match that you can't miss for sure. You know, uh, you know, there's so many other great matches. You know, Mike Dell and Sean Damage McNellis. I mean, talk about a, a, re, a rivalry renewed. Uh, man, this is only the second show of the season, and wow, this is crazy. Yeah, I mean, they, they've competed against each other in the past. Um, you know, Sean Damage McNellis is going to be looking to pick up a win. Um 
he's got the golden ticket. He's kind of, you know, he, he's the man right now. He's got all the opportunity in that briefcase whenever he wants it. But, you know, he, he lost to Brandon Kirk at setting the standard, and I don't think he wants to lose two in a row. So he's going to be gunning for uh, Mike Dell, and there's no love lost between these two, like you said before. Yeah, you're going to have to tune in, you know, Oh, man, it, that was a crazy rivalry last year. Imagine how this that match could turn out this year uh, at Linwood. You know, the triple threat match, you know, Clay Sawyer versus Big Dom versus Hedges. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that we saw Clay Sawyer vanish Big Dom. Uh, what a matchup that's going to be as well. Yeah, I, I mean, this um, the winner of that match is going to get a future... Iron Man Championship match. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, there, there's some big stakes here. It's the first time we're seeing Dominic Truax in a UWA Elite ring in a while. Um, you know, he took some time off to uh, take care of some nagging injuries and everything, and he's going to be coming back and looking to, uh, you know, pick up where things left off. And like you said, him and Clay Sawyer have a history. Mm-hmm. It, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, absolutely, and you throw in the wild card hedges. I mean, one of the most decorated champions in UWA Elite history. I mean, this is anybody's game right there for sure. Absolutely. You know, another matchup that I've been that, that I'm glamoring to see that night uh, when that takes place is you know Mike Seaway against the anti-hero uh, Joey Adams, who last year you know if you remember. Uh, had an epic matchup with the Hurricane. I mean, this year, it's a little bit different for him and Mike Seaway. I mean, another challenging match. Yeah, you know, you sort of have an opportunity to walk out of Wynwood Middle School with some gold here because mm-hmm. the, uh, the UWA Elite Eye Championship is going to be on the line with Mike Seaway defending. And, um, yeah, like you said, you know, last year, Joey Adams faced the Hurricane, and this year he's going to have an opportunity to walk out with some championship gold. You know, this this one has the potential to be the sleeper of the night. Yeah, I like when you pick the sleepers because you're usually right, Dave. I mean, I can't wait to see these two guys battle. I mean, you know, last year, I mean, I remember they they were kind of getting in each other's faces last year too. They had some matches and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is kind of awesome if it picks up. You know, this is what I love about UWA Elite. It's picking up um, with some fresh feelings from last year, though. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, like you said, we mentioned Sean Damage from Dallas and Mike Dell. You know, there's definitely no love lost here either. Yeah. You know, man, I can't believe what happened last month at setting the standard. I mean, you know... Anthony, he knocked out Miles Thomas. I mean, he set a new standard for sure. And now TJ Blade looks like he has an opportunity to set his own uh, against Miles Thomas. Yeah, I mean, that that was something else. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what. You know, if you didn't see the, the boxing match from setting the standard, I urge you to uh, check it out on the UWA Elite Network. Um, saying the standard is up now it can be viewed it's um, six ninety nine a month but the uh, if you sign up your first week is free you can check out saying the standard and every other super card in UWA Elite history is up there right now um, but yeah I mean Miles is um, he's going to be looking for some retribution here and you know this is a wrestling match it's not another boxing match so he's a little bit he's going to be a little bit more in his element yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know what a crazy night that was. Saying the standard, it's the only the second show back from you know back uh, this season, and it's already starting with a bang. You're already going all out on this show. I mean, you definitely want to be there. Uh, you know, another match that I think people are really gonna look forward to seeing is. Brandon Kirk, the Rogue, versus Nunzio from the FBI, WWE, ECW legend. I mean, UWA Elite is on fire with this match. I've, I, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, 
you know, uh, Nuncio competed in UWA Elite once before years ago. He competed uh-huh. against um, Mike Quest for the Iron Man Championship, and that was uh, that was quite quite some time ago. Mm-hmm. And you know, this is going to be his first match back in UWA Elite in a couple of years, and I'm I'm very excited to have him back. You know, Nunzio is a uh, you know he's a class act. He's a stand up guy. Um, pretty much the opposite of Brandon Kirk. Mm. Sure. You know, you know, any reservations because this is a big time match and you're putting Brandon Kirk in that match, you know, a guy that you know, some people like you said, he's not he's not really a class act. He's kind of a, a loner and looking out for number one. I mean, do you think this is the uh the right matchup for him? For you know, maybe well, to teach him a lesson. Yeah, well you know, it's um it was kinda out of my hands. You know, him and uh-huh. and Damage had a match last month in which Kirk got to, you know, pick an opponent, uh-huh. and he's going to be facing Nunzio as a result. He's he's looking to make a name for himself. He's looking to to, to beat a former ECW tag team champion, WWE Cruiserweight champion in Nunzio, and if Kirk can beat him, it's going to be one of the biggest wins of his career. But, you know, I, I wouldn't put anything past Nunzio. Yeah, he's a former... You know, cruiserweight champion Brandon Kirk on a roll. I mean, you definitely want to be in attendance when these two guys go at it. I mean, it's this Friday in Linwood at the uh, school. You know, I can't wait because you know the wretched Bows and Corey Dillinger are gonna go at it. You know, I mean, this is match uh, number two for for Bows now, right? As the champion. Yeah, this will be his second title defense. And uh, yeah, this is a this is a battle of the big men. I mean, these are two big boys, and they're going to be going at it for the UWA Elite Championship. Corey Dillinger, you know, he looked crazy impressive at setting the standard, winning the Ultimate Terminal match. He beat three guys in a row to do it, and um, you know, he, he didn't beat any schlubs either. Yeah, no. You know, he he beat Cypress, he beat Hedges along the way. And uh, you know, I'm. Th- this is going to be something else. This is going to be a big match. Yeah, it just has that big time feel for it, you know, that you want in a championship match. And and Corey Dillinger, like you said, you know, breaking out from the pack from being the designated hitter, uh, with with Hedges now finding himself as his own man. You know, found some good fortune. Uh, I don't know how long that will last because he's going to face the wretched Bows, but. Yeah, you talk about a hard-hitting matchup. That is going to be one for the ages. Yeah, this is going to be, This is like you said, it's going to be a hard-hitting hoss fight. It's two big guys. If you want to see two big guys beating each other up, this is for you. Yeah. You know, this is awesome because you're bringing the talent uh, to Linwood of the UWA Elite. I mean, this is a family-friendly show. You're going to see so much action. You're going to feel like, you're part of the family. I mean, you, you feel part of the family at, at the Holy Trinity Church. But this is another vibe. This is a, a, a similar vibe, but you're going to feel right in. If you're if you're thinking about going, you know, th- this might be the one show for you to go to, you know, if you've missed setting the standard already. Uh, this is an impressive show. I mean, would you agree, Dave? Yeah, I, I would absolutely agree. I, I think this is going to be a great show. Um, like you said, if you're looking... For information on tickets and everything, you can head over to UWAElite.com. Um, show starts at 7.30 p.m. Doors open at 7 o'clock at Linwood Middle School in North Brunswick. You know, come on down. If you like wrestling on a Friday night, you know, this is going to be a good show. I absolutely promise you. Yeah, and if you get there early enough, right, you'll be able to meet Nunzio and some of the stars of UWA Elite, right? Yep, they'll, they'll be out there before the show and at um, intermission doing yeah. meet and greets with everybody. Yeah, so now you have no excuse not to show up to Linwood because you're going to meet Nunzio. You're going to see the stars of the UWA Elite perform at the highest level that they can. You might even see Dave down there too, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> All right, Dave. You know, and for tickets, you know, you, you want to head to the door uh, the night of the show. Also, like Dave said, there's there's uh, information uh, on UWAElite.com uh, and for you to pick up your tickets. And, um, yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a great night for sure. Yeah, it's, you know, home 
Homecoming is always a, a big show for us. We love our partnership with, you know, the, the people in North Brunswick and everything like that. We're happy to be back. And, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a great show. Yeah. So, Dave, can you just tell people again how, um, you know, where they can find UWA on social media? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, you can just look up UWA Elite on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, and um, UWAElite.com for the website. Everything is just UWA Elite. Very easy to find. Yeah, and you can't miss it. Same way you can't miss Dave Swan on this episode of Wrestling IQ 101. Uh, you know, we always appreciate you taking out the time and giving us your predictions and running through this card uh, at homecoming this uh, Friday night. Oh, I appreciate you having me on here. Yeah, and for me, this is Andrew. Uh, you just listened to Wrestling IQ 101 on YouTube and on the B Plus Player Network across all all platforms. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and, and check us out next time, guys. Be well. <laughs>